Hello everyone, hope you're all having an absolutely wonderful day. My name is Flair Bliss and welcome to a demo of Perfect Gold, The Alchemy of Happiness. This is an upcoming visual novel, Yuri themed related, that is made by the same developers that have also made The Letter and Love Esquire, two really refined, really completed games that the developers have also made. I don't know why I went off track there. So. The only thing I can say visual wise that's kind of a little bit of an issue is that there's no bottom border here. But aside from that, everything is good. Aside that, I can't I can't exit this! Usually escape works. Oh there we go, there we go. <laughs> uh, it's just that was covered up. I don't know why that little thing came up there. Okay, so we can't continue. New game! Any bugs and stuff are to be catalogued. This kind of behavior is completely unacceptable, and you students should know that from the get-go. How dare you? Uh, oh, nice. Ah, uh, this feature is currently work in progress. Well, how do I conf <laughs> How do I know what it is? Nah, it is all good. This kind of behavior is completely unacceptable. Uh, do we click? Ah, oh, we just left-click. I expected better from both of you, especially from you, Miss Kari. What do you two have to say for yourselves? Well, I don't care anyway, because I'm perfect. I don't think so, anyways. Hmm. Perhaps we could start with a lesson of chivalry. Miss Clary, Miss LaRue, apologize to each other. No, we're both stubborn to a mule. As a mule, hmm. What was that, Miss LaRue? I didn't start it, Professor. So why should s I say sorry? Miss LaRue, when there is conflict, it is necessary for both parties to acknowledge their mistakes. Hmm. <laughs> the real mistake is letting her royal highness over here run the place. Would you like to say that louder, Miss LaRue? No, Professor. Are you not going to apologize? Nope. Maybe Her Royal Highness should apologize. Her Royal Highness? So that's how it is. Two can play this game, LaRue. Miss Clary, would you like to say something? I stand by what I said earlier, Professor, and I am not going back on what I said regardless of what I said. There's a bit of, there's a bit of context here that's missing, and that is what happened. Miss LaRue burned my book. She's the one who needs to apologize to me. Yeah, one of these is an alchemist and the other one is a magician, magic user. They're two different things, sorry. Wow. Okay, first of all, you called my idea idiotic. Ah, I like that. So, the characters in the game have motion as well as the background. That's really nice. I specifically said, f said thoughtless, not idiotic. Yeah, you use the correct terminology. You just grabbed the rod without warning me. What was I supposed to... Well, I wasn't wrong, was I? You acted without thinking. Ladies. Ladies of the court. All I asked was for both of you to apologize to each other. Would it be so difficult for even just one of you to take accountability for your mistakes? No, we're both going to be stubborn as a mule together. We're going to be mules together. We're going to die as mules together. <laughs> Miss LaRue, it does not matter if you did not start it. You must either apologize to her or at least offer to replace her book. You are not in your little countryside barn anymore. Miss LaRue, do try to act the part. Hmm. Her family owns a laundromat. Laundrette. Laundromat? Professor. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Like, that makes a difference to you, Professor. It does, actually. It's funny how you can go for a year hating someone while still remembering all these details about them. Well, perhaps the word hate is too strong. But right now, I wish I do not remember that her family owns a laundromat. I don't know if it, we call them laundrettes. I wish I did not know anything about her at all. I wish to banish her from my life and never knew her. 
As for you, Miss Clary. Yes, Professor? Is this the example you wish to set as a class representative? Or perhaps as a Clary? I. I cannot give LaRue the satisfaction of an apology from me. On the other hand, Professor Beautifort just brought up my family. I suppose I should tread carefully, shouldn't I? Mm-hmm. You're right, Professor. Miss LaRue, I apologize. Huh? If she's going to remain headstrong about this, well... <laughs> Insisted on a different partner, accepted we were bound to fail. Well, at least that's not. I don't know. Uh, pick one or the other. If this was a live stream, I would have more reinforcements to select which choice. Nah. Hmm, somewhere within the middle. I don't know, a third choice, except we were bound to fail. <laughs> Insisted on a different partner. Yeah, that's. If I hadn't partnered with you, Miss LaRue, then the accident wouldn't have happened. I should have foreseen it, considering our feelings about each other. But perhaps I was a little, or a bit too optimistic. So what, exactly, are you trying to say? Oh, I am not trying to say anything. I am simply apologizing for my lack of foresight. And how is that an apology? I don't know, Princess. The way you phrase it kind of makes it seem like it's my fault. I mean, so much for your optimism, right? It was kind of like, It's too bad poor little th Miss Little Raru is so bad at working with people. If only I'd thought more about that. My lack of foresight is a genuine problem, Miss Raru. I should have paid closer attention to the synergy. Or lack, therefore, between us. As your class representative, it is my responsibility to take into account all possible outcomes. I am deeply sorry to have failed both of you. Professor Beautifort, Miss LaRue. Perhaps during Mars days and hours, I will be sure to be more proactive with my approach to schoolwork. But then you won't live as long yearly-wise, because each year takes a longer amount of time. If Mary and I were assigned for a com Sorry, to complete a task again, then I will simply avoid working with her for our safety. Take that, little, little, little Miss Prodigy. <laughs> I. Wow, you are so full of it, Miss Clary. Keep your apology. Sure, blame it on the Mars hours or whatever. Blame it on everything and everyone but yourself because you're so perfect. Isn't that right, Princess? Professor, I'm sorry, I can't do this. Professor? Yes, Miss Kane. Good morning, Professor. Hi, Miss Clary. Hi, Miss LaRue. Um, the Nightshade Club kind of had an accident, and Lisa, I mean, Miss Pafolito was sent to the infirmary. So, Nurse Cheryl asked me to pass this report to you, Professor. There are so many names I don't know how to pronounce. Do apologize. Names are not my forte, Irene. Prof thank you, Miss Kane. Please wait for me outside. Okay, Professor. Bye, Miss Clary. Bye, Miss LaRue. Uh, see you later, Miss Clary? Yes, um, yes, yeah, see you later. Awesome. Ah, oh, you're gonna love the sun cakes. Don't count on it, Miss Kane. Miss Clary and Miss LaRue will be spending the entire day in detention. What? Oh, but it's, that's, I'm sorry to hear that. I'll just get you one of those sun cakes from later, Miss Clary. Miss Kane. Yes, leave me now, Professor. Bye. But, but Professor, you can't do that. Today's a sunflower festival. I've already got plans. Well, you should have thought about that before making this decision, huh? Yes, I am aware of that. Your plans will simply have to be cancelled. Today, both of you will write letters of apology to each other. But, Professor, please do not test what I can and cannot do, Miss Laru. Sorry, Professor. Ahem. If I may, Professor. Yes, Miss Clary. I missed out on the festival last year to 
due to unfavorable circumstances. Would it be possible for me to do deten detention next week instead? I could even go two Saturdays in a row just to make, make it up for it, Professor. I'm afraid that's not possible, Miss Clary. Oh, I understand, Professor. Good. I want you two to reflect on how you could have reconciled your, st your differences, sorry, and what you aim to change about yourselves in order to work better with people. I will not accept half-hearted letters. I want genuine self-reflection. Is that clear? And Miss Clary, do remember that you do not have a choice in who you work with in the future. You would especially do well to remember this for your medis medicinal inclinations. Yes, Professor. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Professor. Unbelievable. I'm missing out on the festival for this crap again. Language, Miss Slowru. Your sister was never this difficult. Please try not to be remembered as the less likable Laru. Don't you think she's already gone to that point? <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor. Again. Very well. I hope this serves as a lesson to both of you. You two are allowed to talk to each other, provided that you do so civilly. Good day, Miss Laru. Miss Clary. Good day, Professor. Marion? What? I'm sorry about what Professor Beautiful said about you and Simone. I don't think they meant it, Marion. No, they're right. I'm the difficult one. That's just how it is. You're not. I don't think you're... Spare me your pity, Princess. You get your apology letter to write and I got mine. So let's just get this over with, okay? I thought you were planning to escape. It's not okay. I don't know how we ended up like this. But she is not going to listen, is she? So perhaps we really should just get this over with. Whoa. <laughs> Dear Miss Clary, I'm sorry you're such a stuck up little... Yeah, no. I don't think that's the type of genuine beautiful wants from my letter. Exactly. Dear Miss Clary, I'm sorry you're such a selfish piece of... Nah. Okay, maybe not. Whoa. We got a different perspective now. She's not even writing anything. Am I supposedly the troublemaker? Well, from the, from the outside perspective, Audrey is the more modest, mature one. Oh, crap. I shouldn't have made eye contact with her. Why do you keep staring at me? Need inspiration for your writing, Princess? Professor Beautiful said we should be civil. This isn't civil to you. Spiteful flirtation, or whatever you call what you do are doing, is not exactly my definition of civilry, Laru. Laru, huh? Minutes ago, she was calling me Marion, and now it's back to La Rue again. So much for thinking it might actually be, have been compassion. <laughs> well, Princess, maybe you and I just have very different definitions. Is that so? Then go ahead. What's your definition? Please enlighten me. I would... But I don't kiss and tell. I did not tell anyone about that night. Hmm, I'm sure you didn't. I am telling the truth. Telling you the truth. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if the rumours were true, it'd be embarrassing for a Clary, right? What do you mean by embarrassing for a Clary? Why does everything nowadays have a certain reputation behind a surname? Oh, Princess. Do the arithmancy? I'm a Laru. The only other respectable Laru is Simone. And she's, you know, a self-made entrepreneur, entrepreneur from humble beginnings. Still need me to spell it out for you? I think I can do the rest of the art for a man see myself. Did I pronounce that word again, Laru? Huh, <laughs> thought so. What these developers have in common with their other games is that they always know how to put words in which I cannot pronounce. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to level with you here. I don't want to write this stuff. How surprising. Yeah, whatever. 
So what I'm telling you is that I don't want to write this, and I really don't want to spend the rest of the day cooped up in this classroom, especially not when there's a festival waiting for me. And how is this piece of information relevant to me? Well, you see, I'm going to make you an offer you cannot refuse. Well, crap. It's too late to turn back now, but I already said it. Okay, Mary, you can do this. This doesn't have to be weird. Really now? Yeah. She just had to do the thing. She just had to say my name like that. After an entire year. Ugh, get it together, Mary and Naru. Ahem. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm getting out of here. Wanna come with me? You're asking me to escape with you? Blast for me! Curse my uncontrollable mouth. Yep. And why would you invite me of all people? Yes, Marion. Why would you? Well, I'm not planning on spending the entire day with you. But, but if I leave you here, you'll probably get better about staying behind and doing the good girl thing. So I might as well ask you to come with me. That's not a very sound argument, I'm afraid. Not a very sound argument? My foot! I stated... Facts. So inviting me just because you're afraid I'll squeal is a sound argument? Maybe. Think of it this way. You don't have to miss out on the festival this year. Besides, we don't have to stick together. You can go hang out with, I don't know, Irene or whoever. Look, do you really want to spend the entire day here? I mean, you do you and all that. But if you come with me, you won't have to walk around the city with your bodyguards. I'll stick with you until you find your friends. So this is a very built-up, rich-induced city, then. And, of course, when we get in trouble again for this, you can talk us out of it, I suppose. Yep, that's right, Miss LaRue. You know the risks of escaping detention. They could expel you. Us for this. Us? So you are coming with me, princess? You don't have to play coy with me, princess. That was hypothetical, Laru. I'm asking you seriously. Do you really want to risk explosion, expulsion for a day trip with, with someone you do not even like? <laughs> oh, please, princess. They're not going to expel us. I'm the brightest elementalist they got here, and well, you're kinda good at alchemy too. Kinda good? Excuse me? I'm the top alchemist here. Yeah, cool, whatever. But you know they're not gonna expel us, right? Beautiful will probably just send us to detention again. Then we'll end up having to write an essay on why we thought truancy was a good idea. Laru. And at least next week there's no festival to make us feel extra miserable. Well, okay, if you really don't want to, I don't need you to come with me anyway. You can blab to Professor Butefort, I guess. Go make me look like the reckless rebel who made a dash and escape, while you, the lawful good Desmol, who would harm no one, struggled with your morality because stopping me would mean attacking me. It's the kind of narrative they like over here, so just roll with that, Laru. I mean, sure, people will talk again, but that's alright because you get to- Laru, I'm coming with you. Look, uh, you are? <laughs> Look at the sparkles in her eyes. <laughs> That's dazzling. I mean, good, awesome, wise decision, your royal highness. You do owe me this, Laru. Yeah, I guess. So I'm coming with you, but you will help me find Irene. Irene? <laughs> yeah, sure. Be ever so pure and dainty, Miss Irene Kane. Ugh, I bet it's a date. Whatever. If I could just have a few hours at the festival today, that would be enough. That would make my heart. Wait. What, chicken out already, Princess? No. Fill that bowl with water. Why should I? Please just do it. Alright. Let me just draw the signal and... Hmm, 
yes, this one works. Here's your water, princess. This good enough? Perfect. Okay, after that, a sprinkle of this, and poof. All of our problems have gone. Professor Butefort has escaped to another dimension. An illusion spell? In case someone passes by, it'll buy us some time. And for when someone notices. Heh! <laughs> of course you'd be the type to add an alarm. Very vigilant of you, dear lawful good da damsel. <laughs> Maybe you're not so lawful after all. Hey, <laughs> I have my moments too. Oh, I know. I'm glad you still remember things about me. <laughs> Who said anything about remembering? Who said anything about that, honestly? Alright, Laru. I'll just take your word for it. Yeah, I did not miss that smug smile after all. That smuggish, evil, horrific smile with evil poured into every single lip of it. And done. What do you think? <laughs> Wah! <laughs> I would never wear bright, beautiful eyeshadow. This is so tacky. <laughs> I definitely noticed that immediately. Oh, so that's how we're doing this. Hey, don't do that. You know I would never wear a headband like that. <laughs> yeah, cat ears. But you look so cute with cat ears. No, thank you. There, I fixed it. Are you happy now? Hmm. Yeah, I guess this is okay. Admit it, Laru. These are the most perfect copies you've ever seen. Whatever you say, princess. Let's go. By all means, lead the way. All right, princess. Ooh. What's happening now? Hey there, sorry to cut being short, but, but, but... What? Are you... Wait, are you... We just got started! This has only been about 20 minutes, and you're saying this is the only thing we can do in this damn... I'm joking. <laughs> are you sure about this? Hey there, sorry to cut things short, but the demo's over. How dare you say that? I want to see the escape. I want to see the beautiful Sunflower Festival. I want to experience the limelight of why the, the festival itself is so gorgeous and worth getting exiled from... Not exiled. Expelled in detention. However you want to call it. I want to witness it all. Oh, no. My hopes and dreams are crashed, thanks. Thank you and good night. This is a zero out of... I'm joking. Hey there, sorry to cut things short, but the demo's over. After left click. This is just the beginning though. If you'd like to follow us on our adventure, please support us on Patreon. That's right. With enough support from you guys, you guys, we can actually add some cool new features to the game. I don't really have a lot on me right now, but with your help, I get to buy all the sun cakes. Is that your motivation? Your motives are sun cakes. Not for the glorious city of... Wait, what's the city again? The city of Castle Coast. Yeah, that's the one. Not for Castle Coast. Not for your friend. Your future... However you want to call them there. Your future wife. I don't know. <laughs> this is a Yui game, so you're bound to see romance. And stuff. And other stuff. Audrey, can I have some too? I guess. What's that time for? I heard that. But yes, that's correct. With your help, with your help, with our help. You could give us the best Sunflower Festival experience yet. And since we want to give you the best experience as well, you see, in alchemy it takes time and a lot of processes to create a magnum opus. I suppose you could say we are still in the alchemical stage of dis dis distillation, sorry. Actually, Princess, I think it's more similar to the creation stage of elemental magic. And sometimes the bugs appear and they mess up your plants. So poof! Br bring in the dragon's breath and the bugs shall be exterminated. Providing that the bugs themselves have not gained uh, resistance to fire. So if you see any bugs in the game, please let us know. You can contact us by dropping by our Discord server, which I'll also put in the description below, as well as this game's link description. It's a Steam page, for goodness sakes. 
All right, that's it for now. We've got so much to do at the Sunflower Festival. See you next time. See you later, alligators. And that is all that there is to this tale. Thanks for playing. You've reached the end of our demo, if you didn't know already. Like, if you liked Perfect Gold, please don't forget to wish this for game and get notified when it releases. Thank you so much for playing Perfect Gold. Stay safe and healthy. Yeah, exactly. So you can add to your wish list, follow on Steam, like on Facebook, follow on Twitter, join the Yang Yang Mobile server. Let's go home. So that is it for this demo, folks. Hope you all enjoyed it as well as I did. Now, one thing that the developers are really good at with these games is that they're very good at putting in both comical and serious moments into games. Like with the letter, there's a lot of comedic moments with the characters in that game. And alongside it as well, in Love Esquire as well, they managed to put a lot of moments together where literally the protagonist is 90% of the time a complete hooligan. Well, probably hooligan is not the right word, but just acting very crazy. But when it comes to the times where they need to be serious, but they are serious. So in this case so far, we've seen a more comedic side rather than a all serious side but this is just an alpha demo folks so please check them out in the description below i'm sure they'll be very very happy to see what you guys have to say about the alpha demo as well it's completely for free the demo itself not the full game which is still in development and it's planned to be released very late in 2020 q4 2020 when things get colder again which i'm very excited about because i do not like the summer at all so this has been the alpha demo to perfect gold the alchemy of happiness because it has what alchemy in i'm pretty sure it has more of a focus with the alchemist rather than the magic wielder magic user together with alchemy and magic you can create so many different things but with alchemy you can create anything with really as long as you have the right materials and the right training and stuff like that. Anyone who's played the Atia games will know about alchemy and the kind of basics there. Alchemy can be interpreted in lots of different forms. And one interpretation is what's besieged in this universe and other universes too. Thank you all so much for watching. Yeah, she has like a fire thing just because of her clothing. Didn't have a specific name for that. And this, I don't know what kind of uh, theme that would be. Maybe more for alchemy. So thank you all so much for watching, folks. Uh, extras, currently work in progress. And I think I said at the beginning that um, there's no bottom bar for this. Uh, load game. Continue. Oh, that just continues off. Ah, that just continues off from there. Okay, okay. Uh, resolution change texture quality change all the stuff these don't have voices yet so therefore if you notice that there aren't voices then that's why so thank you all so much for watching folks i'm gonna leave it off here with these two lovely ladies and see you all in the next time folks when the full game releases or in the next video if you wish a like comment and subscribe please that would help me out as well as the developers knowing that you like this game by liking the video as well but also leaving a review of your own and playing the game for yourselves to see what you can find in your own interpretations have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves